Shalom. I'm going to talk to you today about deceivers and being deceived. In the last days now, we know that there is a lot of iniquity. And I want to read some scriptures to you about them. I'm going to read now from uh, 2 Thessalonians to start off. And I'm going to turn the camera away from myself, which is good because it really bothers me sometimes looking at myself on the camera. I'm a little camera shy. This is about deceivers in the last days. Okay, I'm going to close this screen. I'm reading now from 2 Thessalonians. And if you begin at 2 Thessalonians, and I will put these in the footnotes, it has, um, let me get this scrolled up a little more to begin at the beginning so I don't pull it out of context. All right. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. For that no man deceive, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you I told you these things, and now we know that we know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay, so we know this is speaking of the last days. We know that there are deceivers that have gone out into the world and they are going to bring even miracles and signs and wonders. Um, we want to be very careful in these last days because uh, you have imposters. You have many people doing many uh, magical things. Uh, they're doing things that are, that are very, very strange, you know. Uh, we have people who are uh, going out, uh, these uh, people, they follow you around, they get paid for this. We have uh, so many agencies like that now where they target individuals of interest and these people are paid. Uh, there's a, a, a very low criteria to do this. You are uh, pretty much a subject of of scrutiny in your own neighborhood coming back and forth wherever you go because there are paychecks for these people and uh, I forget the name of what it is now but uh, it'll come to me in a minute I might have to go here and pause till it comes to me because I really want to make mention of this hold on